Alright, so I found this brand new pond and it's got some incredible formation showing. I'm walking on the Ashley right now. It's really hard, so I'm not going to sink in it. I'm going to walk over here and show you how cool this looks. Right here, you've got the contact zone where the Chandler Bridge, the soft green stuff, meets this hard Ashley formation. And so all the good stuff is in that Chandler Bridge, and so I'm going to dig that out. There's more Chandler Bridge right there. It's just real soft stuff. And there's really thick, thick stuff right there. Could be awesome stuff in it. Could be nothing. Sometimes it's hard to find things in the Chandler Bridge because few and far between, but when you do find them, they're really good. And here's one more good spot where you can see that contact right there. And then there's this rocky layer right here, right on top of that Chandler Bridge. And it's got fossils in it too. So, wish me luck. You know if I find something, I'm going to film it. Got a big Andy. Look at that laying flat right under the Chandler Bridge on top of the Ashley Formation. And he's digging into the Chandler right now to expose it. Oh, that's a big tooth. Oh, a corner is missing up there. Yep. Oh, man. That was still exciting. Big. That's still big. When there's one, there's more. Good job, dude. Got a whale tooth. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Score. All right, I just flopped out one right here. I haven't exposed it yet, so let's see. A little, little. Worn on the tip, but Aren't man, look at that color. Jeez, Dang. that is sweet. That is sweet. Chandler Bridge Angestein. Yeah, baby. Let's find some more. Look at that killer Desiree right there. That's a sweet one right there. Doesn't that look sweet? I believe is a whale tooth. It looks like a whale tooth. I think it might be. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whale tooth. It's under this real hard stuff right there, so it could be difficult to get it out, but we're going to try. I hope the camera has enough batteries. Oh, I didn't bring up batteries for all my stuff. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we try to pull out the block. Like jacket it with... Yeah. I don't think we'll have to jacket it because it's I know. this stuff's pretty hard, but oh, it, it just came loose with that. Oh look at that. It's just the tip. Oh man, well you know what? You gotta take care every time you find something like this. Shame, shame. Mm-hmm. Well there it is. Look at that little squalid on tooth. Just perfect. Alright, we got a ground shot right here. Weasling dug one out. Weasling can't wait. Oh man. Whoa. Straight out the Chandler. Is it cusped? I don't know. Oh! Oh no. 
Oh man, but that's a nice tooth. Yeah, sweet dude, that's a nice one. This is why you don't dig in a vertical wall. Watch this. This could have been weasel pancakes right here. That was a huge section that just fell. Would have flattened me. Gotta be careful when digging for fossils. The size of this vertebrae right here. When that wall fell, this fell out of it. That's pretty awesome. I love these big ones. I'm hang on to that. However, I found something over here in the wall, so I found that walking back. So I was gonna go get my knife so I could dig it out. See that? Right there. Looks like it's a good Angus Dyden. So let's see. Dig around here real careful. Sometimes they're brittle on this stuff. That one looks like it's pretty solid though. Yep. Pretty solid. Good times. So I know I don't normally pick up invertebrates, but these little some kind of shell things, the casts. They're all over the place. Look at them all. So I just figured that'd be something cool to show you about this spot. It's a really neat spot. Looky there. That looks like a whale tooth. Oh, and it is. It's a nice one, too. Really nice. That looks interesting. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh man, that's a squalodon tooth, a really, really nice one, wow, I'm going to wait till I get home to rinse that off, I don't want to risk breaking it anymore, that's a killer find there, alright, got an Angus Stiden right here in the Chandler Bridge, right there. So we're going to dig that puppy out real slow and careful so we don't break any of it because they're real fragile. Looking good. <laughs> Looking really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice Angus Titan. Yeah. Cool. All right, Angus Dyden. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh man, that's another big one with the tip on that one's chewed off. Man, this stuff is good over here. Yep. There it is. Keep trying. Look at that blade sticking out. Oh boy. Man, if they didn't have to eat, that thing would have been the find of the year for me so far. What well, could have been? Hmm. All right. I'm excited. That looks vaguely like a whale tooth. Let's see if it is. Oh, it is. Oh, man, that's pretty. Sharp. Real sharp. Nice, nice squalodon tooth. That's a nice mako right there, I think. Yeah, beautiful Desirai. Perfect. Ooh, look how sharp that thing is. Thank you, nice new rained on dirt. Look at this. There's a whale tooth sitting right in the track where the excavator went. I think could so easily have been just destroyed. So let's take that out. Real careful.
nice. Wow, that thing's nice. I'll have to clean that thing up when I get home. But man, that's whole. Yeah. From tip to root tip. Sweetness. There's a nice little Mako. That's pretty. That could be a good one. Yep. That's a good one. Yeah. Good times. Awesome. All right, so there was a new pond, and this is what we found there from digging and walking at the piles that they spread out from the pond. So let's go down the list. Nice Angus Dyden. And another nice Angus Dyden. A really nice Deserai. Alright, now let's get to these whale teeth. These things are stars. I don't know if they're associated because we found them separated from each other on piles. They could be associated, but I'm not going to say that they are because we found them apart from each other. This is the one that the Weasling found. Look at how sweet that is. That's his only one from out there. And then this is one I found on a pile. Can't believe how flawless it is, especially when it was in the track of an excavator. It came inches from being run over. And this is another one I found on the pile. Sharp. And then this one I found on the edge of the pond. Double rooter. So the skull was probably somewhere close to this one, but this is the only one I found. Look at look at how close the color matches on those three. They fossilized at the same level, not in the same place. And then this is a little smaller one. Really good condition. Definitely not from the same size whale. Alright, now this is a really cool vertebrae. I believe this is from a tuna or a barracuda I'm not quite sure but it was completely covered with formation and I pulled it out let it dry brought it home and cleaned it up and it turned out to be really nice really nice really detailed and there's a piece of ray plate all right these were everywhere out there these big clam casts so I picked a couple of those up and then more of these massive Angus Dyden vertebrae. There's another one. And then these teeth over here, these weren't from the Chandler Bridge. There was a, a megalodon layer, some people call it Wando formation, that was up higher. Uh, probably about 10 feet higher than the Chandler Bridge Oligocene formation. And so it had these color teeth. But it's where all the megalodons were. Alright, and there's those.